so we're back again with now another NBA 2K19 My Team Pack opening and if I'm keeping it real I did not expect that I'd be doing this one because I was pretty sure 2K were going to bring out new playoff throwback moments but I didn't really expect them to be good but they released three new Galaxy Opals and I love all of them because one's a Jakimbe Mutombo you guys know I love these type of centers in 2K the next one is a Kyrie Irving and I feel like a lot of people will love this card and then finally the one I really badly want is this Galaxy Opal Antoine Jamison because his pink diamond was insane I couldn't even imagine how good the Galaxy Opal was going to be and you guys will see in the top right corner there I don't have any VC we're actually going to do MT packs I'm going to do this for maybe the rest of the year we'll see how much I'm actually able to do I don't know though because really singles haven't really been the best for me what is my luck what is going on we just pulled a galaxy oval in the first pack is it a new one it's to Kimbe Mutombo to Kimbe Mutombo um I What do I do? What do I do? I was literally just saying that these aren't very lucky for me and we pulled Kimbe in the first pack. Man, what? I, I seriously can't believe that. Can we go back to back the first pack and we're able to get to Kimbe, which is the one that I probably wanted the most. Next pack up, obviously not going to beat it there. Bro, I seriously can't believe that. I'm absolutely shook. And if you guys don't know, well, you obviously don't know because I haven't mentioned it at all. I'm editing the IRL series right now. So I'm super hyped for that because it is coming out soon. And trust me when I say this, it's going to be a good episode because we have a lot of games combined into one. We've got 444 million MT right now. So maybe that'll mean that we're able to get something good because 444 is that little Uzi Vert song nothing here. And one thing else that I wanted to say is I actually have some very exciting content coming up on the channel soon. I've thought of a new series and I'm actually really looking forward to doing it and I feel like you guys should like it a lot. So next pack up, we're not getting much here. So I'm not going to spoil it, but you guys will like it for sure. And I am actually going to New Zealand like tomorrow. So that's kind of exciting. And I'm going to be traveling, but we'll still get out of the videos because I've pre-recorded quite a few. And you guys know the grind isn't over when I travel because I do bring all my stuff. So the content still should come out even if they release new content, which still should be able to bring out the videos quite quickly we do get a ruby here which is kind of rare out of these packs and it's going to be paul george so i was planning to spend about 200 kmt and i was wondering if we were able to get a galaxy oval but i got it in the first pack which i definitely didn't expect maybe we're able to get antoine jamison though and in this pack since then it hasn't really been the best as i don't think too many people want to see a dikimbe gameplay which is the whole reason why i'm not going to do a gameplay on him just because centers don't seem to get too many too much love in the youtube community but i feel like antoine jamison definitely will so if we're able to pull him gameplay later today and the reason why so many people are hyped for that card is because he does have base 11 as he's released i think it's base 11 it might be base 8 pretty much he's a buyable auctionable um bob pettit that you can get from the token market so him coming out is kind of an l for those people that do have bob pettit i personally have bob pettit but right now i'm really not liking the card i don't even use him at all but maybe Antoine Jamison might be the answer to all my questions and he might be a lot better. This pack up though, we're getting a Sapphire Devon Booker. You know what, while we're here, I definitely do want to check out his stats. So where is he? Here he is, Dikimbe Mutombo. We're going to put him at backup center just straight away. And let's check out his stats. So he's 7 foot 2, 99 on offense, 99 on defense, 18 years pro. He's got a 94 driving layout, which is extremely nice. A 69 three, so he'll actually be able to splash them. Really good dunking stats, 74 ball control, pretty good passing, 99 block, of course, no, no, no. 97 steal, 99 across the board for rebound and then 94 speed. He's got 79 speed with ball two, also 95 lateral quickness, and then just 99 for pretty much everything dunking. Then what does he have? Yeah, pretty much 100 for every dunking tendency. And then also a quick 20 Hall of Fame badges. Lob City Finisher, Posterizer, Acrobat. Does he come with Relentless? Yes. Does he come with Defensive? Yes. Hustle Rebounder? Yes. We can add all the shooting ones to him too, and he might be able to splash a few. So I feel like that's definitely a beast of a card. We're still going to open up quite a few more packs though. I don't really know how much Dikimbe is going to go for, but hopefully it's for a lot. And next pack up, we're not getting anything in this one. And here we go. I was just looking at Twitter for some luck, and definitely not, definitely not working. Definitely wouldn't mind getting that Kyrie for a gameplay too, to be honest. Whichever one I pull, Jamison or Kyrie, I'm doing a gameplay later today. But we're going to have to pull one of them. We've already got to Kimbe. But yeah, the IRL video is definitely coming out along very well. And there's a lot of games in one episode. And I'm going to have the few episodes coming out quite frequently because I have a lot stacked up recorded. More sapphires here. The funny thing about the IRL series is I knew you guys enjoyed it, but I didn't really think it was something that a lot of you guys were going to continue to ask when I didn't bring it out. So I really do appreciate your support on that series because it takes me forever to make. But it's always nice to get something back from the effort that you actually put in. And that's exactly what you guys have been doing. You've been asking for it so it's coming out very soon and there will be episodes quite frequently as next pack up these have not looked good since the first one but if you guys want to know why that is it's because in these packs you can only pull galaxy opals and then the rest of the 
cards are just current cards, so you don't really want any of those. If we're able to pull a Galaxy Opal this pack, I'll buy VC. There you go, 2K. That's really just the cup of tea. And this pack up, we are not going to get it. I really am quite interested as to when 2K are going to stop content because it seems like they're bringing out a lot of things, but it's like, I sort of just think, how are they going to improve on everything that they've brought out recently? And we get a Ruby here. Like off the top of my head, I can't really think of even three players that people want that are Galaxy Opal. I don't know, maybe like D Wade or like Patrick Ewing. He's got a pink diamond. Like these two have got 98s. Maybe Andre Kirilenko might get a Galaxy Opal. We'll have to see though. Because it seems like recently 2K are giving Galaxy Opals to cards that don't fully deserve to get the Galaxy Opal, but they're doing it because 2K players actually want the cards. So I don't know. I feel like we're going to see quite a few more Galaxy Opals but I just know I just don't know what we're gonna get here we go another sapphire though we've pretty much already spent over 200,000 MT which is definitely a lot but it's kind of worth it because we already pulled a Galaxy Opal. I don't know how much he's going to go for. And we're just getting Sapphire after Sapphire now. And especially with those ultimate packs being out, I feel like the Opals in these packs aren't really going to go for too much. Those packs truly did ruin the market though, just because they made everything so much cheaper. And it's going to make every Opal coming out in the future way cheaper too. And it's because we're getting Dante Cunningham here. I'm thinking I'm going to do about another 100k MT, which is definitely a lot. But if we're able to get another Opal, this is a dub. The only thing is, is I don't want to get the galaxy opal flash and then for it to be one of the old opals because they literally go for nothing like none of those players are really good there is a chris webber i guess that's the one that's okay but yeah i guess there's really not much else to say we really need this opal to make my day we get an amethyst here this is going to be a current day amethyst so this isn't really what we want to see it's going to be either steph curry or kevin durant and steph curry i actually pulled what did i pull yeah i pulled this galaxy opal the other day didn't i i think so i don't even remember no i bought him the good news about opening these packs right now is the servers are actually extremely good they're going fine like it doesn't really seem like anything's wrong so i'm liking opening them it's not frustrating like the past few pack openings have been it's just frustrating because we're not really getting much because the real question is would i recommend that you guys do this with your mt just you know spend it all on these packs the answer is definitely no there's literally no point just because you're not really guaranteed anything and also these packs don't ha hold too much value this is going to be a coach right here it's eric spolstra i think that uh, i'd so buff butchered his name just because there really isn't much point in trying to open up these packs and trying to get something good when you really can't get much. Maybe with VC, it could be a different story, but these packs are going to be extremely good for Lucas Legacy, which is one thing I'm definitely looking forward to because if we're able to open these and get to Kimbe or something, it'll be huge for the squad. The odds of that happening definitely do seem a little bit low with the way that we're going now with getting absolutely nothing. We've still got about five more packs to go and maybe we're able to come clutch with another Opal. Can we get even like a final few packs? And yeah, the reason why I'm spending MT on these packs rather than VC, this is like my first time doing this this whole year. It's just because I realized it's it's coming late to the year. I don't really need to spend any more money on 2K. And this is kind of unwanted purchasing of VC if I was going to do it now. So we have over 4 million MT. I just thought I may as well do like a 300K pack opening once these players come out. And if we're able to get something good as we're getting a lot of rubies here, then we might just be in luck with able to get something good. I actually don't remember what I said last time. So that's kind of an L. And we've got one more pack after this one. Then we spent about 350K MT which is a lot, especially just for one Dikimbe, and I don't even know if he's going to go for over 100k. There's another sub thumb maker there. Probably the first few that go up will go for over 100k, but we're going to open up the final pack here. Can we start with the Galaxy Opal and then end with an Opal? It's looking like an emerald. I'm going to go until we don't get a gem. That's such a bad thing to do. So what I'm going to say is if I don't get a Sapphire or higher, then I'm going to stop the pack opening. So we need Sapphire or higher or else it's being stopped. 2k, do you want me to continue? All you have to give me is just a Sapphire or higher. There's a Sapphire, one more pack to come. And next one up, I didn't really want to go this low on MT, but maybe it might be worth it. And it's worth it, baby, because we get a Galaxy Opal. Can this be a new one? Please be a new one. It's going to be Jazz. That's going to be John Stockton. <sighs> That's a bit of an L. That's a bit of an L. But it's a Galaxy Opal, can definitely not complain. That card goes for like 30k, so that was definitely above a Sapphire, which was a bit of a dub that we were able to get a Galaxy Opal. Pretty much we got a Galaxy Opal at the start, and then a Galaxy Opal at the end, and nothing in between. This one, we're getting Aaron Baines. And just to end it off with a bit of a shebang, I did way too much MT that I expected, but we got two Galaxy Opals, so I definitely can't complain. We're gonna open up another one here. This is gonna be the final pack, pretty much no matter what I get. And it's gonna be a bronze, okay, GG, thanks 2k. So I really wish we were able to pull either Kyrie 
Lee or Jamison, but we were able to get the two that are right next to each other being John Stockton. I am never going to use this card. I can guarantee you I'm just going to sell him. Like, he does look all right with a 993 and like, you know, it's John Stockton. But really, no one really wants a six foot one point guard at this time of the year, but Kimbe is definitely a beast of a card. I've already shown his stats. We're going to try and get a lot more badges on him and maybe make some threes. And I can't believe we're able to get him in the first pack and then literally John Stockton in one of the last packs. Pretty much I could just cut the middle of the video, but you know, that's not content for y'all. Jamison is already going for 350k for the first one, which is definitely a lot. And how much is Kyrie going for? I feel like he'll also be going for a lot. Not too much, actually. And Dikembe is going for over 100k, which is definitely nice. Let's actually see if there's a buy now for him. I don't think there will be. No, there isn't. That's nice. So I don't know. I'll try and get a gameplay out later today with this Kyrie. I just feel like it will be a fun card to use. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this pack opening. Make sure to smash that like button. Our luck has been pretty insane, and I'm not complaining with this one. Two Galaxy Ovals in this, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.